Hi guys! In this video, we will learn about basic formulas in Excel. Watch the entire video because we have a quiz question for you at the end and one lucky winner will get an exciting merchandise. So let's get started. Formulas are one of the most powerful and convenient features in Excel. Once you understand how to construct them, you will be able to perform many useful calculations. Let's get started by learning how to write simple formulas. The syntax is very important, which is how the terms in a formula are arranged. A formula always starts with an equal sign. This is because the cell contains or is equal to the formula and the value it calculates. The equal sign is followed by an equation that combines numbers or cell references with mathematical operators to calculate a result. Excel uses standard mathematical operators for formulas. Let's just review them. A plus sign is used for addition, a minus sign for subtraction, an asterisk for multiplication, a forward slash for division, and a caret or inverted V for exponents. Let's practice writing some formulas, starting with a basic one. To find out the total price of spring rolls ordered, we can enter a formula into cell E9 to multiply the quantity of spring rolls by the price per portion. So the value of E9 is equal to 4 times 6. As soon as we press enter, Excel will instantly calculate the value according to the formula entered and display it in the cell. Remember, you can view or edit a formula anytime by just selecting the cell and using the formula bar or by double clicking on a cell and then editing directly. Now the formula we just created was a combination of numbers and an operator, but it did not include any cell references. Let's now rewrite the same formula using cell references. A cell reference is just the address of an individual cell or a range of cells. If we use cell references in formulas, we are telling Excel which cells it should take values from in order to calculate the end result. So to find the total amount for spring rolls, we need to tell Excel to multiply the quantity by price per portion but instead of entering the actual numbers, just tell Excel which cells contain this information by giving their cell reference. So in cell E9, we start off with an equal sign, which tells Excel we are writing a formula. Notice how it appears both in the cell and in the formula bar. Then we type the cell address of the first cell we want to reference, which is C9, the quantity of spring rolls. We will see a colored border appear around this cell, which tells us it is referenced. Next, enter the mathematical operator. Since we want to multiply, we need to enter an asterisk. And after this, type the cell address of the second cell we want to reference, which is D9. Our formula is complete, so we can press enter and Excel will calculate the formula and display the value in the cell. We get the same value as before, $24. Now instead of typing cell references manually, we can also just click on cells we want to include in a formula. Let's rewind and create our formula again. So type an equal sign in the amount cell to activate formula mode, then click on cell C9, type an asterisk, then click on cell D9 and press enter. So what's the big deal about cell references? How does it make a difference whether we enter the formula manually as numbers or include cell references when we get the same result in each case? Well, firstly, this method can save a lot of time when creating formulas and also minimize chances of making errors when typing in cell references manually. But the biggest advantage of using cell references is that if you update cells that are referenced in a formula, the cell value in the formula cell will auto-update and you won't have to rewrite your formula. Right now, four portions of spring rolls cost 
But if spring rolls go on sale for, let's say, $4, we can just update the price in cell D9. Notice how the total amount changes by itself to $16, which is the quantity times the new price proportion, without us modifying the formula. This is the beauty of cell references. Now, once we've entered formulas into cells, there are some quick ways to copy them into other cells without rewriting them. A straightforward way is to just copy the cell containing a formula and then paste it into another cell. Let's do this to find out the total amount spent on fried rice. Now that worked well, but there's another even better way. Remember the fill handle? We can use it to replicate formulas in several adjacent cells at once, saving us lots of time. In our example, we need to find the total amount spent on each item ordered, and the same formula applies to each item, quantity multiplied by price proportion. So let's use the fill handle to help us. We just have to select the cell containing the formula we want to copy, then put your cursor in the bottom right corner until you see the cross. Then we just click and drag the fill handle over all the cells we want to fill. When we release our mouse, the formula will be copied to all the cells selected and they will display the end result. A cool trick we can use to see all formulas or functions in a worksheet is to hold down the control and grave accent key. The grave accent key is usually found in the top left corner of your keyboard. Now, as you can see really clearly in this mode, Excel is really smart and pays attention to how formulas have been created. What I mean by this is that if our original formula is entered into cell E9 as C9 times D9, and then we copy this formula cell three rows down, Excel will automatically move all cell references three rows down, and cell E12 will equal C12 multiplied by D12. Isn't that cool? Now to switch back to normal view, just hold down the control and grave accent keys again. We now know how to create basic formulas. Formulas always have to start with an equal sign, and are essentially like maths equations and combine numbers or cell references and mathematical operators. There are many advantages to using cell references in formulas, but the main one is that the value in formula cells will automatically update if the values in reference cells change. To edit formulas at any time, we can use the formula bar when the cell is selected or just double click on the cell. And finally, we can replicate formulas quickly using the copy command or by using the fill handle and dragging it across adjacent cells. Now that we have an understanding of formulas in Excel, are you ready for the quiz? What is the function of the word equals sum at the beginning of an Excel spreadsheet formula? Answer in the comments section below and one lucky winner will receive an exciting Internshala Trainings merchandise. Hope you enjoyed learning about basic formulas in Excel. This video tutorial is a part of Internshala Training's Advanced Excel Training Program. To learn the basic and advanced modules of Microsoft Excel, visit the link in the description. To learn exciting new concepts and skills on the go, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to stay tuned.